Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel on this fresh new week. Uh, must apologise for my lack of videos last week. Um, I did try and comment on the previous video to let you know I was gravely ill, okay, with flu. It wasn't flu, it was... Flu is actually very lethal. Is I can't claim I had flu. I just had a very bad cold which put me in bed. Uh, and I do have to do all my videos on a Monday because I haven't got time later in the week. So if I'm ill on Monday... I'm screwed. We're all screwed. And that's what happened. Um, so apologies for that, but I'm back now. I'm absolutely fine. Now, the second thing is, and this is big news, this is big news, okay? Very exciting stuff for all of you. In March, I will be embarking on an adventure, a real life adventure, filming it, making a full YouTube series on a new channel. It's something that's never been done before, or at least never been filmed. And it involves me walking across a country in a directly completely straight line and overcoming any obstacle that comes my way that's all i'm going to say for now i have made a separate video explaining all all the details and why i need your help uh, and you will find the link for that video in this description okay so go down if you're interested watch it and i think you bloody should be right let's get this perfect score Oh, wow, look at this. We are literally underneath a bridge tunnel. I thought it was a tunnel. It's just a building. Okay, what's this? Poundland. Oh, I thought that would be something a bit more exotic and useful, more to the point. Um, we're at the back of some very interesting looking houses. Trying to figure out, could that be Bristol or somewhere a bit further up north? Let's get our bearings then. That was facing north with the back of Poundland by a railway s railway track come on let's get this as quick as we can without rushing can we get the name of this road please for God's sake just the name of this street Peel Street Right, Peel Street Medical Centre. Okay. Which way do we go from here? City Centre, Glasgow. We're in Glasgow. Oh, God. This could be very hard. Peel Street, Glasgow. We were at the back of Poundland. That will help us. Berg Hall Street. It's such a big city. That's our problem. Berg Hall Street. If we can just get city centre this way or that away. Where's city centre? Fort Row okay. Fort Row Street and Dumbarton Street. Let's just get these. And then I think we just go straight in. There is a railway track there too. I think that's enough. I think that's enough for us. Let's get in there. I do like these moments. You never know what's gonna happen. Right. Okay, I would say we're looking at kind of possibly around here. Is there a railway track there? I can't see it. Dumbarton Road. Let's see where Dumbarton is, the actual place. There, it's there. So I think... We look around here somewhere. In theory, we should find Dumbarton Road. But time is very much of the essence. And I'm very aware of that. Hmm. See, it feels quite central. So I'm looking around here, but... Can't find it. <laughs> I won't lie. Can't find it. Dumbarton Road. The other one is Fort Rose. Can't really find that either. Could we be on the south side? There's Dumbarton Road. 
So we're over here, are we? Fort Rose. Yeah, we're further out than I thought, guys. Here we go. Peel Lane. Burghall Street. There's the railway track. So we're there. Okay. It took a little while, but we got there in the end. And I was able to see the um, little bridge under the building there. So excellent stuff. In this round, this is going to be hard, but we're... There is a bend to speak of that we might be able to use. It's going to be a judger. It's going to be a good old judger. Right, I'm heading north. I would say in terms of time taken, that probably took too long, really. We need two and a half minute rounds on average uh, if we're going to get down to 14 minutes. Right, what's that? What was that? We've missed valuable stuff here light water valley right okay doesn't help well it will help but it's nothing i've heard of um light water valley Is it, are we going to get any other signs or not light water valley no can i cheekily have a look at this bus stop oh where's that what does that say Oh, I just can't read it. Just can't read it. Bus stop. No. Oh, it's so frustrating sometimes. Okay, we'll carry on. At least we've got the... Uh, Lightwater Valley... Theme Park. Right, okay. Yeah, but at least we've got that. We've got the entrance to that theme park, uh, as it is apparently dubbed so when we do find out the road that we're on where we are we can go back and find that pretty easily uh what's this north stainley i haven't heard of that either i'm afraid to announce so we have still got a lot of work to do are we going to get some signposts here north stainley Right. We need a junction with signposts to other towns. Anything will do. And hopefully I would have heard of it. North Stanley. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Jumped the gun there, and I've gone too far, but we've got a good lump of signposts. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay. Ripon I've heard of. The other one I hadn't heard of, West Tanfield. Let's find Ripon if we can. Where is that? There it is, Ripon. North Stanley. Found North Stanley, so hopefully this will all fall into place pretty quickly. Lightwater Valley theme park. Down we go. Now. I think. If we head back. We are on this bend here. There's a little farm track there. Don't know whether that will be on the map. And then it goes up. For a long while. Were we going north? I think we were, weren't we? So yeah, we're, we're here. We're definitely here. There's the little farm track, I think. Does it turn... Does it turn that way? Can't see at the moment. Yeah, it does look. It turns. That's vital. So back we go. There's the turning. Now. We are straight. We're 100% straight. But this way, it starts to turn, doesn't it? So... I think we can go there. Excellent. Oh my god, that is just about in the points. Just about. Oh, I th I'm pretty sure it's 14 metres is the cutoff point. Right. We can definitely go back to this point and find it straight away. We've got a river on our right. Can we get out of this place? We can find that geographically without even getting road names. 
That's the good news. Henley Close. Right, Henley Close. I'm going to head this way. We've got to hope for a couple of quick rounds here, guys. There's no two ways about it. Because the first two were too long, I think. Which does put a lot of pressure on. It makes it a lot more um, tough. A lot more stressful. Right. Especially when you have rounds like this. The link. Which way? Which way? I'm going to go this way. Oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh! Okay. Keep going, sir. Okay, what can this give us? Do I go this way? I haven't even looked behind me. I'm just drawn like a moth to a flame to these shops. What do they say? Tilling Green Stores. So we're in Tilling Green. Now the only thing is with that, I don't know where it is. I've never heard of it. I'm going to go back this way. Shit, what's just happened? Please never do that again. Tilling Greens. Okay, we know we're in Tilling Green. We have now just got to find out where the hell that is. Um, and I'm going to go this way to try and do that. Tilling Green. Do we have a good sign here? No. Car park. This has to be quicker. Okay, this l this looks good though. Tilling green. Come on. Definitely towards the centre. We need a good signpost soon. We need one very soon. Railway track. Granary, right. That's no good. I don't think we're in a place called Tilling Green now. I think that was just a suburb of this place, which I think isn't Tilling Green. I think this is a bigger place. Eeps Tower and Museum. Where the hell is this? Battle. Rye. Oh my god, man, this is... This is so tough. Okay, Folkestone. Okay, this is what we need. Folkestone, Dover. Are we in a place called Rye? I mean... Folkestone, Dover, Hastings... We further towards Hastings then. Rye. Okay, I think we're in Rye. Tilling, Tilling. Tilling Green News Agents. Henley Close. This is where we were. This is Defo where we were, and we were there. But let's just check because I don't want to bugger this up now. Yeah, we're there. Let's do that. Good. Wow, we got there. Right, last but one round. These need to be quick if I'm going to beat that record. I don't think we're going to do it, but, you know, it'll be a good game. We, we needn't worry too much about the record. We can only give it our best shot. So, here we go. What have we got here? Let's get this road name. Allen Vale Gardens. Allen Vale Gardens. Which way do I go now? I think I've got to go this way. So Allenvale Gardens were pointing north. I am now straddling this wall. This cemetery wall. And I'm going east. So the cemetery will be a good feature on the map. Allenvale Gardens. Right, what have we got here? This could be Scotland. I don't know. What is that? Great Southern Road, and I don't know what that memorial is at all, I'm afraid to say. Um, which way do we go now? I'm going to go this way, north. Don't know why. That's what my heart is telling me to do. Okay, yeah, the cemetery will come in useful there. Most definitely. 
Okay. City centre B9077. This could be Scotland. I don't know. I don't know. Right, what's that? Windhill Medical Practice. Well, Windhill will just be the name of the, you know, road that we're on probably. Blue Mead. Oh, man. I hope this isn't one of those ones where there's just no clues as to where we are. Let's see, city centre. Oh, I hate this crap. Tell me where we are. <laughs> Aberdeen. Okay. I'm going into Aberdeen. I've got to gamble time-wise. If I'm heading into the centre, that looks like possibly where we were, but no. Allenvale. There it is. There's the cemetery. So Allenvale Road. We were up here in Allenvale Gardens. Let's go back. You can always tell the cemetery because they've got the paths laid out on them. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are just here. Excellent stuff. Last one, can it be quick? We are in a built-up area. This looks like it could be Swansea. Very much so, it could be. Do we have a dead end here? Herbert Street. Okay, good, we've got the name of the road. Herbert Street. I don't think this is Swansea, actually. On closer inspection, no, it's not but it could well be the South Wales Valleys. In fact, I'm almost certain. Is it going to be somewhere I've heard of? That's what I'm hoping and praying for. Herbert Street. Presumably, I'm still on Herbert Street. Am I? Am I not? No, Bryn Hulog. Okay, Bryn Hulog and Herbert Street. I've got to go downhill. I don't recognise this. If it's the valleys, I'm always in for a shout. Bryn, Hulog and Herbert Street. We're down onto the sort of main valley road here. I've got to go this way. Looks way more promising. I'm going north now, so away from the sea, if this is the valleys. Do I look at shops? Swadifer Post Office. I'm looking at shops here because I just think they'll give it away. But I don't know. I could just keep going and look for a road sign. Probably the sensible thing to do. Oh, God. I don't want to be going back to shops. If I can help it, I just want to glance past them. Davis and Jones. <laughs> They're the two most Welsh names. Upper Ronda. Upper Ronda. Yeah, but that's... Not the place that we are. Upper, that's a valley, the Rhonda Valley. So I need to be careful with that. A fish called Rhonda. Trehebert. Okay, I think that's enough. Rhonda Valley then. Let's find it. Shit, where is the Rhonda Valley? Crap. There it is. Trehebert found it. Oh my God, okay, Margaret Street. Where do we come from? Crappy now. Bryn Hulog. Herbert Street. We were about there, let's go back. How many houses from the end? Well, one, two, three along here. Shit, where's Corbett Street? There is a street there, isn't there? One, two, three, there. Well, we done it. We did go and do it. Uh, I'm not sure about the time there. I think that's closer to 16 minutes, possibly 17 minutes. Um, very spread out locations, as you can see there. Look, a couple in Scotland, one in Wales, one in just north of Leeds, Ripon. And one da right down on the south coast. So that really did keep me on my toes. It's just so tough to uh, to get these really, really super times. These 12 minute, 13 minute, 14 minute times. You just need really lucky, favourable rounds. Um, and if not, 
you've got no chance. You know, you can't just magic up a signpost. Uh, anyway, the quest does continue for that sub-12 minute perfect score in the UK. And um, I think when I do finally achieve this feat, if and when I do finally do it, I think I'll move back onto the world. I'll try and beat my 30 minute world record. But in the meantime, folks, click on that link if you haven't already, I'm sure some of you were dying to see what it's all about uh, and you've already watched it. But if you haven't, the link is in the description. I'll put it in the comments as well. It's for the video of me explaining about the epic trip that I'm about to embark on in March. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you on Wednesday for a hometown roulette. Ta-da.